funny running into you like this. We have a radio contact and an obnoxious message. We're not going to read. But yeah, this is basically right in our path. I mean, we kind of have to. Let's see, when was this reported? 7.30. Oh, we're getting quite a lot of waves. This is going to be a lot of fun to hunt. And in fact, I might do it on the surface. And it might turn us north. Let's see what the weather is like. Oh, it's clear out, though. That's not good. It was cloudy earlier. Should have noticed that my men were not wearing their rubbers. Not wearing their parkas and what have you. That is really too bad because that's going to make this a lot more difficult. I'm going to put us under. Oh, hey. Oh, so he's actually not heading due west. That's good to know. He's probably going to go something like this then. Oh, wait. Did we sight him? We must have sighted him because that just moved. Okay. Now back us up. Drei. And yeah, we definitely sighted him. Um, I think we will have to do this underwater because yeah, we've got him. Shoot, I'm going to put us on the top and see what we can do. But I would like to get some torpedo redemption, which is. Not sexual, contrary to how it sounds. All right. Whoa, God! <laughs> Jesus H. <laughs> May I help you, Captain? <laughs> Got a freaking demon on board here. Who is that? Spitzenhund. Take out the contacts. You're freaking me out. You look like you belong at a Marilyn Manson show. Shit. Okay, uh, well, it's British. That's a good start. It's also a tramp steamer. Show. Let's just scroll on down to the tramps. See if we can make a disco inferno out of this ship. So it's a reference. Oh, actually, you know what? It's a small freighter. I take that back. Right? Let's look at the tramp steamer. Yeah, it's actually a small freighter because it's got this nonsense here. Funnel or whatever you call it. Alright, nope, you, nope. Lock it. Pop it, then lock it. And. Holy mother of crap. This is going to be difficult. We'll just say that. How about that? No. I don't think that that's accurate, sir. Okay, we'll just go with that. It's about three clicks. To the left. He's almost square. A little bit. We're a little bit ahead of him. This is going to be interesting because we're waving back and forth. Really don't know what this is going to come out as. Should be in the environment of. Should be around eight, because it was saying. Well, now it's saying ahead slow. Oh boy, and that range is just dead ass wrong. Okay, that affects the whole computation, so I'm going to redo it. That's what it's insisting on, though. Good, our battery's recharged. Go with that. I mean, that's as good as I can get it, to be honest with you guys. I'll just give it one more try. I could have done the 315 thing, but I just don't know about that. I don't trust it anymore. Six knots will do me just fine. wasn't feeling too confident about that. I'm still not feeling too confident about that because that's looking pretty well short, but... Oh my goodness. Well, we'll give it a try. Just give him a second here. About to 
across. Oh, you know what? I need to change the torpedo settings. He can have it run fairly shallow. Is that a Type 1 or a Type 2? That's a Type 1. We'll go ahead and do that. You open the tube. And... Just give it one more second here. That torpedo launched actually out from uh, the tube and into the air. I have very little hope that this is going to hit. But we're going to see what it does. Let's just speed along because we can see it thanks to the daylight. He might see it too. That'll be fun. And it'll be super fun if this thing manages to breach and explode. Oh, it's running too deep! Well, isn't that fantastic? That is not going to hit anything. Super duper. We can't use the deck gun. Our torpedoes are horrible. I blame them, not myself. I'm actually turning us around so we can try to do another attack. That is really aggravating. Um, well, we could try Type 2 with a magnetic. Oh, that is just not an appealing prospect to me, though. Really hate that idea. Like, really, really hate that idea. <laughs> It is among the worst ideas. Oh, man. I might have to do this underwater, too. That thing isn't going to hit. And I think my instinct about the speed was right, because this is just on the line here, and that ship is still about a click away. So just gonna stop our turn right about now. Try it again. Stupid torpedoes. Now he could have seen the wake on that, which would be just wonderful, but I'm gonna hope that he doesn't. I'm thinking maybe that the uh, torpedo got a little jostled. And as such... Good grief. And as such, wasn't able to... Um, or it, it affected its depth keeping, is what I'm trying to say. And it's already lost the ID on what that is. That's pathetic. Doesn't suffer from any kind of short-term memory loss. No! I'm going to have to kind of guesstimate this. Oh, this is so cool. This is so much fun. I love this. Should probably not be taking this shot underwater. How about we just say that? We just say that. Fantastic. Okay. Magnetic pistol. What is your draft? Seven. <laughs> Seven, eight. That is a type two. God bless it. All right. Oh, hey, he looks like he could be turning. Fantastic. This is great fun. Alright, well, if this doesn't work, then I'm calling it good. Because, my god. Actually, you know what? We're just going to go north. Because then we're going to break this thing off. Oh, good heavens. That was ridiculous. I don't know why I did that. Other than I'm just stubborn. How's this thing looking? Is it running deep? There we go with another euphemism. Is that torpedo running deep? Oh yeah. Get a good 
good look at the tip of that torpedo. Plunging through the water. Let me part your waters with my torpedo. Damn. Alright. That's just really gross. So, anywho... Where is it? It's right there. Oh boy, I think that that doesn't have a snowball's chance in hell of hitting it. Well, maybe it does. Oh hey, it blew up. <laughs> I just saw the counter stop and it disappeared off of the map. It is, uh, <laughs> it didn't work. So our torpedoes are uh, starting to misbehave. They've actually been pretty good so far in this little career of ours. We've actually been really lucky. We should honestly be having far more failures than we have. Um, type 1s and 2s, more so the Type 2s though, were both hilariously unreliable for a big part of the war until some serious upgrades were made to um, assure that their depth, key keep, uh, depth keeping was right, and their pistols, their mechanisms that they used to detect when they should go off, were actually working. That was a huge problem for the Germans. It was actually a problem for most of the powers in World War II, including the Americans, who probably had it worst of all. I don't think they had working torpedoes until 1942, period. Um, maybe 1943. I don't really remember. Um, I'm a little bit behind on my Silent Hunter 4 knowledge. But anyways, uh, that was a pretty depressing display there. We're just going to forget that that happened, and we're going to keep going to see if we can see something interesting. Something more interesting than torpedoes running too far under their target, or just exploding before they get there. Oh, this is so much fun. Okay, it's May 19th. About 3 o'clock in advancing. Um, that means that, according to my handy dandy Wikipedia article that I have on my phone in front of me, the Bismarck should have left Gotenhafen here and is going to go up and around and go through here and up through here and then around town. I don't know if it goes this way or this way, to be totally honest with you guys. Let's look at the map. Oh, it goes this way. Right through here and then out through here and so on. Um, oh, the weather has improved. Fantastic. Um, but anyways, so the Bismarck has put to sea. I'm wondering if we're going to get any friendly task force reports. So we have a radio message, though. Not important. But hopefully we'll get some kind of radio traffic about this whole thing, whether regarding the British task forces or about the Bismarck itself. We'll see. Uh, I really have, again, I've not played through... Um, the campaign while this is going on, so I don't know what's going to happen. So, hopefully something interesting will happen. So far, nothing, but as soon as something does happen, I will keep you apprised. This is an encouraging sign. We've gotten a message to Zu allen U-Booten. U-Boats in the vicinity of grid AD-52 are encouraged to set a course for southwest of that position. Stay on station and assist where possible, AD-52. It's right there. It's right in the middle of the Denmark Strait. I don't think that that's a historic message. I think that that is a scripted message. So I'm going to put us up there. Now, the reason I have... <laughs> I've had this mysterious X on my map here. That's roughly where I think, based on my research, where the... Um, uh, where the hood was sunk. So I'm going to just kind of bring us up there a bit. And hope that we run into something. I, again, I have no idea how this is going to go. I don't think that the actual battle starts until the 24th. So maybe I'll have something for you then. Well, friends, we have some encouraging news. We have a report of a warship heading 21 knots on approximately west-northwest from grid AD-59. And, you know, this is getting a little confusing, and I don't... I feel like I'm playing a little bit of a guessing game, because, I mean, that's how this game kind of is anyways, if you're trying to intercept a target, I guess. But these ships... I'm assuming that this is, first of all, the... Um, Prince of Wales and the uh, Hood. 
and that they're heading west-northwest to supposedly meet the Bismarck. It seems like the timing isn't quite right for that, because if they're heading um, 21 knots, that's approximately 39 kilometers an hour. This would be their location 10 hours from now. And that's assuming that they don't change speed at any point either, or course for that matter. They could start heading more westerly or more northerly. <coughs> Excuse me. But it just, I, I don't know. It seems kind of odd because, well, I guess it's because I don't know what's going on. I don't know if the Bismarck is going to meet up there. I don't know if when it's going to appear or where it's going to appear. So I'm just going to try to intercept these guys along this line somewhere. Just... This is about west-northwest, I think. And I'm hoping that this yields something. Um, at this point, I really just want to run into a ship. I don't really care if it's the Bismarck or a British ship or what it is, to be frank with you guys. Um, and if it is a British ship, I am going to go ahead and take a shot at it. I'd history be damned, because uh, I've <laughs> been kind of having a little bit of a rough time with my torpedoes, as you can see. We haven't had very many hits for all those torpedoes expended. <laughs> So I am willing to completely create an alternate timeline um, in order to facilitate that. <laughs> to create a alternate reality wherein dogs and cats live together and uh, the hood gets sunk by a blundering German U-boat captain. Conditions right now are actually fairly clear, which is unusual for this area, but that can change at the drop of a hat, so we'll just see what happens with that. But Basically, I guess the point of this little um, interlude is I'm confused, I'm going to do my best, but I have no guarantees to you guys that I'm going to see anything. Holy fuck. Okay, so I went along this line here just because I thought that this was probably a pretty good one and I guess I got it right. Where is it? 122. BAM! Okay, so, um, god damn it, we've got a radio report too, is this the same, no, they're not heading south, because they're running parallel to us. Okay, um, they are really distant, okay, so that there, <laughs> hate even having to talk about this, and my mouse wheel isn't working, I'm losing my mind, alright, it's just... There you go. This here is going to be the Norfolk and the Suffolk, I'm assuming, because they are the ones that shadow the Bismarck um, and basically report on its position to these ships so that these ships can go sink it. However, um, the Bismarck must be in this area somewhere, probably. I, I don't honestly know for sure. Anywho, we've got these. I'm going to move us... This is going to be really tough to get some kind of solution on these guys because... They're going to be moving really fast. And in fact, I should start 315ing them. In fact, again, in fact, <laughs> I may not be able to 315 them because they are moving so freaking quickly. Um, so what would that be? A 137 method as opposed to a 315. We'll use that um, and hope that we get a result that's worthwhile. I, You know, 21 knots, we could very easily plug that in to the uh, TDC, but I'm not confident that that's going to be correct, so we're at one minute. Okay, 1.30, and we're going to slow it down. And we had a little bit of a lag there, so we're going to call it there. That's fine. Okay. What's that distance? <laughs> Holy crap, guys. Aha, uh -huh. 1.1, so we'll call it uh, 22 knots. Um, get that out of the way. Whew. Okay, so let's let's ID these suckers before we get to it. I should have been doing that actually while I was timing them out. So wait, that said battle cruiser, I think, just there. Yeah, battle cruiser, battleship, hood, Prince of Wales. Uh... It's not a merchant. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. Uh, so hood. <laughs> I tip my hat to you, sir. And then I, uh, 
go to you, and I also identify you, Prince of Wales. It's a whale of a ship, and I tip my hat to you. I bow my head, sir. Okay. We've got a, we've got a working speed, I guess. We just need to get a little bit closer, though, because these guys are really far away. As big as they look on the horizon, they're actually very far away because they're tall, tall ships. This is uh, this ship here is 55 um, meters high, 56 meters high. This one, I think, is a little bit taller even. Let's make sure of that. I could actually just click on this. Oh, shit. Did I just lose? Okay. <laughs> oh, it's a little shorter. Okay. Well, anyways... Um, this is an interesting quandary for us here, because the hood is actually in a worse firing position for us than um, the Prince of Wales back here. So I'm thinking I might just take a shot at the Prince of Wales, because I don't think we're going to be able to line up a shot very easily. Okay. Um, we're going to give this a whirl. And I, again, I have no... Six, six clicks is really far away. I don't know about this, you guys. My dog is groaning. He's unhappy with my performance. We are getting slightly closer, though. Closer. Yeah, we've got a good beat on the... Yeah, that's great. We've got solid contact with him now. Whoops. Oh, man, those things are huge. Okay, we're going to actually take a shot at both, I think. We have type 1s and type 2s. Oh, man. I can't really tell how this thing is angled, though. I think that we're ahead of it. So let's put that in first. You know what? Let's take shot. If I'm taking shots at both, I need to do the hood first. No. God damn it, I'm being such a moron right now. I'm all... I'm all flustered. Okay. So apologies to you guys, because I know this is possibly a little bit frustrating to watch me fumbling around like this, but... Four knots, or four... Four clicks is okay. Wait, what am I doing? Calm blue ocean. Calm blue ocean. What was the draft on him? Hood is 11, but this is... 9.7, okay. Number three will be an impact pistol. Heading 22 knots. That's almost a straight shot. Oh, damn it. Doing it. Magnetic. Ten and a half. <sighs> Holy mother of God. That range is possibly not going to be right, but I'm going to take the shot. Hood. What the fuck was that? Something... <laughs> I'm freaking out, man! <laughs> oh my god. Look at how close we are, too. This is retarded. What am I doing? <laughs> Three and a half kilometers away! This is idiotic! Okay. No. <laughs> I don't need you right now. Speed, 21, 22, whatever. Impact. Fire. Type 1. Lock it in again, because it has a different speed. Magnetic. What did we discover that that freaking draft is? 9.7. No, wait. That's not the right ship. You not, no, wait. Did I just... Damn it! Ah, <laughs> oh, criminy. I screwed this all up. We're even closer, though! <laughs> Fuck, alright. Well, we launched three at 
Prince of Wales. God damn it. <laughs> well, that actually looks a little bit better. I'm gonna... Oh my god, we're so freaking close to these guys. I don't think we should take an aft shot, honestly. I don't think we're gonna be able to get in position. Look at... We can see them with the naked eye. They can probably see us. God. And my binoculars aren't working. Fortunately, I remember that B is the shortcut. They don't even look like they're going that fast, and they're not putting out any smoke. He's not putting out any smoke. Does that mean he's stopping? No, there he goes. He's a casual smoker. Whew, I fucked that all up, you guys. I apologize. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't know. Just gonna monitor them a little bit. In fact, it would be. Oh, wait a minute. I'll see what he's again. He's turning. He is turning. Let me just verify. Yeah, he's in the middle of a turn right now. I don't know what that means for our torpedoes. That means he's going to be turning as well. So this could be... <laughs> this could be just a hilarious miss. But... I need to be able to... Okay, this... I don't know what our torpedoes are going to do here. Put the scope up. One of those looked like it could hit the hood. Oh, shit. <laughs> not a periscope <laughs> ah, I'm an idiot. One of these could hit the hood, though. We don't have hydrophone fixes on him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think we made them angry. <laughs> Fortunately, they don't have depth charges, as far as I know, anyway. Uh, but they do have enormous guns. Which they won't use on us. They'll probably use their smaller guns off to the side here. I don't know if those are really terribly visible. But either way, we don't want to tangle with these guys on the surface. <laughs> oh, man. I fucked doing. this all up. This is so bad. My dog is still groaning. He's just absolutely unimpressed. Four torpedoes. Wait, one of them just disappeared. <gasps> Holy shit! <laughs> Impact on hood. That from the <laughs> from the cheater's surface camera was a hit in front of the stack. We're moving too fast for this to be useful, so we need to slow down. Is that, is that giant blob one of the battleships? <laughs> Alright, we've got something here. That's Prince of Wales there. Where's the hood? Slow down. Hood is there, apparently. We'll just have to wait for us to slow down. The uh, I think it's... It might be either HC or... Um, the bits and pieces of the MEP mod that I still have installed might model it so that there's blurring when you go above four knots underwater. Okay, he's... seems to be underway just fine still. So it seems like that was a superficial hit. He almost looks like he's taking on water, though. Let's look at the TDC. That other one is a miss. So, of our four, we hit with one. That's better than we did the last time we happened to run into the hood. So, I consider that vindication and vengeance right there. Move, hitting a ship that's moving that quickly is just ridiculous. Um, it's extremely difficult to do. Uh, not to toot my own horn or anything. It's just not easy, though. Um...
I'm not going to take a shot with my aft tubes. I'm just... <laughs> there's no way I'm going to be able to maneuver into position quickly enough that I'm going to be able to hit land hits on either of these. Um, but with that said, it is awful tempting. Damn it. I should know better than to do this. That's fine. We're not going to hit with either of those. Or the... Uh, either. What am I talking about? All right, so we need to get into position pointing something like this and pronto. It would probably be easier if I did this on the surface, but again, they seem to be a little bit upset with me right now, so I'm not going to antagonize them further. All right, and then once we get into that position, we'll slow it down, and what I will probably do is speed them out because they could have dropped speed significantly. I think that's the only reason that that one hit. Um, they definitely saw me though before I took the last shot. Oh, come on, slow down, slow down. Mouse wheel's not working, this is terrible timing. Prince of Wales. <sighs> okay. Clearing up now. Holy shit, that's so close. Um, come to a complete stop, in fact. I gotta wait a little bit longer before we stop. There, okay. He is zigzagging, but we can hopefully infer a kind of speed for him. Even if he is mo changing his uh, vector. This is going to be really tough. I don't think we're going to get a good result here. We also need to just generalize his AOB. Because even though he's obviously... We're, we would be like this right now. It's roughly like this. Let me zoom it down. Shit. I don't know if I'm even going to bother with this shot. This is a really chancy shot. And they're moving so quickly, I... <laughs> well, wait, they're not moving quickly, though. That's the whole point. Let's do this. I'm going to waste all my torpedoes on this. And actually, we'll increase the speed on these. This is a pathetically awful solution, but <laughs> I'm just in hysterics right now, you guys. And this one will notch up the speed. Notch it up to 10. Okay. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh man. Can I see these on the surface at all? Oh man, they're type 1s though. I should be able to. Well, we did discover that it's extremely difficult to see them, but I should actually keep my scope up. Because, like I say, I mean, even though they don't. They can shoot at us, obviously, but. I don't think that they're going to. And I need to slow down. Alright. What's TDC say? Prince of Wales is taking a very wide turn here. It might... It almost looks like it is trying to go around... Hood. Prince of Wales is turning, but it might be turning into this torpedo. I'm going to see if I can get eyes on those torpedoes over here. And hopefully they don't run out of fuel before they reach their target. I can't see them. 
They are running fairly deep, but they should still put, uh, produce a bubble trail. Oh, come on. Where, where'd you go? <laughs> what the fuck? What did I just do? Ships? What? They just vanished. Wait. What? They just vanished! They disappeared! Can I... I can't do the hydrophone ship camera contact... Son of a bitch! What just happened? Those could have hit, too. That's so sad. I just want to cry right now, you guys. Son of a bitch. Okay, here, here, thinking about this, calming down a little bit. I think what happened here, the game scripting, and I've seen this work in harbors, and I'm assuming that it works the same way, is that once something reaches its supposed destination, it sinks. Or it doesn't sink. <laughs> I'm still... <laughs> I, I got a little bit ahead of myself. I think that it probably... My dog is coming up onto my lap to console me. Thank you, Fergus. I really appreciate that. He's not giving me any smelly kisses. But once it, re it reaches the end of its scripting path, it just disappears. It vanishes. Um... And I'm assuming, like, I've seen that in harbors. I'm assuming that's just what happened there. Um, so apparently, well, that doesn't make any sense, though, because we should be able to see the Bismarck then. We should have seen the Bismarck. Because obviously, the Hood and the Bismarck get into a huge old gun battle, and the Hood sinks. Well, Prince Eugen and the Bismarck attack the Hood and the Prince of Wales. Hood gets sunk, Prince of Wales gets damaged. So does um, uh, Bismarck. Bismarck does get a little bit of damage in the engagement as well, but this is... The timing doesn't make any sense then, because this is up here at 240, and I'm, again, I'm assuming that this is the Norfolk and the Suffolk, and if they're heading south fast, they should be shadowing the Bismarck and the Prince Eugen. There's no way that they could get down here in an hour. Something smells fishy, and it's not me for once. I think... You know what I'm going to do? Well, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll talk about it later, but... God damn it. I just wasted six torpedoes on ghosts. <laughs> this patrol, this fucking patrol... I did hit the hood, and historians in this alternate timeline, wherein I have taken a big smelly shit on Clio's chest. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> that's not just terrible for the content, but terrible in terms of the reference to the Greek muse of history being defecated upon. Um, this alternate timeline, where I've done something that is contrary to what actually happened, historians will note that... Uh, the daring efforts of U-110 assisted in the sinking and then subsequent magical disappearance of the HMS Hood and Prince of Wales. And apparently in this timeline, Prince of Wales, you know... Well, wait a minute. Maybe it was in our alternate timeline and it is now going back to the real timeline. Yeah! That's some Star Trek level thinking right there. Um, God damn, that sucks. <laughs> I'm so sad right now. That could have been a hit. That could have been a hit. I could have been a contender. Oh, man. Well, the reason I'm over here on the map is I was just thinking, uh, of course, the hood sinks. The Prince of Wales um, does get damaged in all of this. It does go back to Britain to get repaired, and it ends up being a part of the British Far East fleet. 
to defend their interests in Southeast Asia and India and so on, but it does get sunk by the Japanese. So regardless, though, two, those two ships were somewhat ill-fated, although I can't necessarily say that they were as ill-fated as us, because we just shot at nothing. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm so sad right now. I could just cry. This is just ridiculous. I, I can't believe that happened. Well, okay, I think I'm recovered, more or less. Um, I guess what we'll do from here is try to go see the Bismarck if we can on our little SS Minnow patrol. Uh, this is Gilligan leading you on a pointless amble through the Denmark Strait to change history and also to be changed by it. I feel like a changed person after that experience. Shit. Okay. I'm gonna see... I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if this is gonna work here for a course. Um, you... Because, let's see, Bismarck should be going through here about. And uh, these two ships... South doesn't make any sense for these ships to be going. They go south initially and then I think they shadow for a while. So I'm gonna hang out in here and hope that we run into the Bismarck, maybe even see them take some pot shots at the <laughs> at the two cruisers. But again, I don't know how this is going to work because apparently this whole area is prone to folds in the space-time continuum and you can never really say for sure what is going to happen. So I think I need a drink. 